Hello and welcome to our sixth video dedicated to astrology. So, after having seen the basis, um, the landmarks of the Amelie Sphere, we are finally going to be able to look at the foundations of the astrology known as tropical astrology. The aim of this video is to show you that the signs of the zodiac are defined by the astronomical landmarks of the sphere and not as is often believed by constellations of stars. So that is the aim of this current video. So we're going to talk a little about the tropical zodiac. So let's talk about this band of the zodiac. I mean, it's a path, as I've already mentioned. Uh, it's a band, as I said in the previous video, along which all the planets of the solar system travel. And on this band, and we said this also, we define a point, um, which is a point zero, um, which is zero degree Aries, a starting point. So all the planets on the zodiac can be identified based on their degree, starting from point zero. You know, 60, 120, etc., etc. So zero Aries is logical uh, symbolism of springtime, and it's the beginning. So that fits really well with zero. So let's look at something that's essential to understand tropical astrology. In order to do that, I'm going to um, use a, a picture that I find very interesting. You're all familiar um, with the famous uh, Paris-Dakar rally. Um, you know, it no longer takes place in Africa, but it still takes place. So imagine when it took place, I'd like us to you know, remember when it did took pla take place in Africa, these cars that are in the desert, imagine these cars that all travel on a very narrow portion of the desert without there being a material road. You've all seen this picture where the cars are in the sand, in the desert, there is no road. Um, yet they travel, and imagine this car that travels on a narrow band of the desert, all these cars um, in the Paris Dakar Rally. So this road that isn't materialized uh, nevertheless crosses a number of countries during the Dakar, it was Mali, etc., etc. Um, you know, when it used to take place in Africa. Well, it's exactly the same thing that happens in the sky. The zodiac is a celestial road or route that isn't materialized on which all the planets travel. And this zodiac crosses a number of countries. And these countries are, um, you know, the um, star constellations, the 12 constellations of the sky that everybody has already looked at. The shinier ones are Sagittarius or Scorpio. These are star constellations. And so the constellations are not the zodiac, just as countries are not the road are used by the cars in the Paris Dakar rally. What uh, leads to confusion is um, how the zodiac is cut up and the fact that it carries the names of constellations of the sky. That is what causes confusion. So you have to differentiate between the road that the cars uh, follow and the countries that the zodiac crosses, which are the constellations of the sky and the starry constellations. Once you've understood that, you've understood something absolutely essential to get and understand tropical astrology. So astrology, the astrology that we're going to be focusing on for the rest of our videos, is astrology, an astrology that isn't based on the star constellations of the sky. Um, so to summarize, it's based on the four quadrants that we defined in the previous video, if you recall, the spring quadrant, sorry, yes, spring quadrant here, between Aries and the end of Gemini, the um, summer quadrant, the autumn quadrant, and the winter quadrant, so four quadrants, and each quadrant um, measures 90 degrees, and these 90 degrees are divided into three. So 30 degrees for each, so there are three equal parts of 30 degrees 
with the signs of tropical astrology that appear. So you've got three signs in spring, three signs in summer, etc., etc. So, this is known as tropical astrology because it is defined by a ge geometric uh, a framework, scientific framework of the celestial sphere, and defined by the tropics, um, you know, and defined by the equator also, and the circles of the sphere. But it all becomes a little complicated, so, you know, that's why it was named uh, tropical astrology. So, remember, this is astrology defined by the tropics by the geometry of the sky. So to be clear, today when you say my star sign is Aries, it does not mean that the sun was in front of the Aries constellation at the time of your birth. What it means is that at the time of your birth, the sun was situated uh, in the area between zero degrees Aries, i.e. The, the spring equinox, basically, and um, 30 degrees further on. So the sun was in this small portion of the sky, but not necessarily in front of the Aries constellation. So if you look at the circles of the spine, you know, we defined, um, we've defined the, the basis of uh, tropical astrology. So now, We've got four quadrants, three signs in each quadrant, um, which gives us 12 astrological signs. In these videos, we are not going to study the meaning of the 12 astrological signs. Um, that is not the point here. I will give you references in um, the bibliographical video for those who want to uh, and go further in the understanding of astrological signs. But there is something important that appears in the context of tropical astrology when you look at the armillary sphere. You're going to see that without knowing anything at all about astrological signs, with the armillary sphere, you can already guess the characteristics of certain signs. So if you recall, we defined these various circles of the um, sphere and there's a certain dynamic of the sky of the um, signs of the zodiac that appears take a look if we look here between uh, Pisces and um, Aries what you have here is a transition of the zodiac that was in the southern hemisphere it was in the southern hemisphere and by crossing the equator it goes into the northern hemisphere so with um, your uh, area sign you have a transition you're opening a door you're crossing a door when you go um, from Pisces to Aries a door that crosses the southern hemisphere and um, to the northern hemisphere you have the opposite with um, Libra, Virgo and Libra, you have a door that opens and that crosses the northern hemisphere towards the southern hemisphere. So this is a new dynamic that opens up um, with, um, uh, with Libra. And if you look at um, Gemini and Cancer here, with Gemini, you had an ascending dynamic uh, ascending into the northern hemisphere you know you went towards higher and higher latitudes in the northern hemisphere and suddenly um, with cancer you have a descent towards the northern hemisphere um, and lower latitudes so again a change um, a new dynamic with cancer and same with Capricorn Sagittarius and Capricorn um, you had a, an ascension a dynamic um, you know with Capricorn there's a transition and you start a descent um, so again a door that opens with a different dynamic with the sign of Capricorn so all of this is very interesting because it brings us to define four signs um, Capricorn um, Aries, Cancer and Libra which in tropical astrology is known as cardinal signs cardinal signs cardinal means something um, that you can lean on you know and it's interesting because these are signs that 
lean on um, the circle of the equinoxes or the circle of the solstices. So the circle of solstices, yes, and equinoxes, so cardinal. Um, you know, that leans, on, something that you can lean on. So what is interesting is that the cardinal signs in astrology, in tropical astrology, are signs that symbolize all of them, all four signs, um, symbolize beginnings, um, initiative, um, you know, dynamic qualities. And you can see that all these seed signs initiate something new, initiate a new dynamic. You can see here, for example, in Libra, uh, Libra initiates the passage um, to the southern hemisphere. So it's very interesting, and it's something that you can only see with the geometry of the sky, this uh, symbolism of these four cardinal signs. And then you also have the four um, signs that were uh, at the end of something. For instance, here, Virgo was at the end of um, the northern hemisphere. Um, with Libra, you go into the southern uh, hemisphere. Sagittarius was at the end of the ascent, you know, in the southern hemisphere. With Capricorn, you have a descent um, in the southern hemisphere. With Aries, no, sorry, with Pisces, um, you were at the end of the passage of the zodiac in the southern hemisphere. So with Pisces and with Aries, you go into the north. And with Gemini, you're in the end of the ascent in the northern hemisphere. And so with Cancer, you're going, uh, you know, you're into a descent. So with Gemini, with Virgo, with Sagittarius, and with Pisces, um, we're dealing with signs that convey something that is ending, a change, a transition. And that is interesting because in tropical astrology, um, these four signs are known as uh, mutable signs. You know, so the symbolism is that of uh, change, of transition. And you can see that with this dynamic, with the geometry of the sphere, um, you know, you can find this symbolism that will be used in tropical astrology. I find that really interesting, personally. So we've seen this uh, zodiac, the celestial um, path, and what is interesting is that each sign um, has its own place in the zodiac that is very specific, you know, a, a very individual place. Um, so they are all very uh, singular, and that is the foundation of tropical astrology. Um, I know I'm going to repeat it one more time, but astrology is not based on the stars, but it is based on the position of each sign in the dynamic of this um, celestial sphere.